Example 5, ring expansion. So, we have a compound here. There is a plus charge present on this carbon. It is a carbocation. This carbocation with a plus charge is attached to two other carbons. So, we can call it secondary. Also, we should note that this carbon with a plus charge is next to a cyclopentyl ring system. There are two types of shifts which can happen here such that a more stable carbocation is obtained. First thing 1 comma 2 methyl shift. So on the next carbon this carbon we can see that there is a methyl group this bond meaning there is a methyl group here. This methyl along with its electron pair shifts to the adjacent carbon. Let us draw the structure. We have not done anything to the cyclopentane. Next here this carbon and we had one more carbon here and one carbon here. This carbon here had a plus charge but now the methyl group has moved there. And as the methyl group is lost from this carbon, we put on this carbon a positive charge. Such type of system is obtained. If we observe this carbon now, this carbon with a plus charge, then it is attached to three carbons directly, so it is tertiary. So from secondary carbocation, we have prepared tertiary carbocation. We can say that it is more stable. Let us consider the second one. 1 2 bond shift. 1 2 bond shift is another name of saying ring expansion. In this case, we have a cyclopentyl ring system. On the adjacent carbon, we have a positive charge. In such cases, the ring can expand. A 5 membered ring can become a 6 membered ring. We should know here that 6 membered ring is very stable more stable than a 5 membered ring, 5 membered ring is more stable than 4 membered, 4 more than 3. So as the ring size increases till 6 carbon, the stability goes on increasing. So therefore, in such type of a system, this carbon detaches itself from this carbon and instead connects to this carbon. Let us see how to do that clearly here with this representation. So let us draw this cyclopentyl system and here we have a methyl group, here we have a CH2, CH3. Just so we can understand clearly, I have split up that bond line formula and written condensed formula here. Now this carbon, the adjacent carbon, as there is only CH here and there is a plus charge here. So this carbon, it bond is broken and it attaches itself to this carbon. Uh, let us number all the carbon atoms here. This is not IUPAC numbering. In general, I am numbering so that we can understand which carbon is going where. So, 5 carbons of the cyclopentane I have numbered. Now, let me call this carbon with a plus charge the 6th carbon. So, carbon 1 and carbon 5, between them the bond is breaking and the bond is forming between carbon 5 and carbon 6. So, then our compound became a cyclohexane system. Say this is 6 now. This was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again repeating. Bond between 1 and 5 was broken and bond between 5 and 6 has been formed. 6 is also attached to a methyl group, this methyl group. 1 is also attached to a methyl group. Now, as the carbon 5 formed a bond with carbon 6, now carbon 1 will be getting a positive charge. So, this is our answer. So, this is the carbocation which is formed. Once again, we can see that it is a tertiary carbocation and the speciality here is rather than having a plus charge on a 5-membered ring, 
Now we have a plus charge on a six membered ring. The ring has expanded and this is more stable.